How's it going here? Welcome back to another Camera Comparison video. And today we've got Xiaomi's first high-end offering of 2022, the Xiaomi 12 Pro. I'm going to put it up against their best phone from last year, the Mi 11 Ultra, because I really want to see if their decision to kind of go backwards in the camera hardware department is going to make much of a difference or not. So last year they had the Samsung GN2 sensor in the 11 Ultra, and this year they've opted for a slightly smaller sensor, the Sony Amex 707 in the 12 Pro. And so this really won't be much of a competition as far as zoom is concerned. The 12 Pro just doesn't have the periscope zoom lenses that the 11 Ultra has, but I will show you results from all the different lenses. And so the 12 Pro is running MIUI 13.0.21 as of this recording, and the 11 Ultra is still running MIUI 12. And so like I always do, I'm going to show you a bunch of photos in both good and low light conditions. So you can see for yourself the differences on these cameras and which ones might be best for you. So go ahead and take a look at other photos and videos and let me know if Xiaomi's decision to switch up sensors this year is making a difference or not.
Alright, so here's a rear video test on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and Mi 11 Ultra. As you can see, they're both recording from the rear facing cameras. And this is at 4K, 30 frames per second from the ultra wide angle camera on each. And off the bat, you'll notice that the 11 Ultra has a much better exposure here versus the 12 Pro, which is much more overexposed right now. And let's just pan around so you get a feel for how these ultra wide angle lenses compare. And you'll probably also notice that the Mi 11 Ultra has a wider field of view. It'll fit more into the frame than the 12 Pro here. So let's go ahead and move into the main lens on each. And this is a pinch to zoom. So you see it snap into the main lens here. So one time, and you can do it snap in on the 12 Pro right there. So that's the main lens there. And we'll do it on the Mi 11 Ultra. And you can see it snap into the main lens right there on the 11 Ultra. So we'll pan around so you can see how these main lenses compare and much better exposure on the 12 Pro now versus the ultra wide, but still overexposing just a little bit as you can see there in the leaves compared to the Mi 11 Ultra there. And let's go ahead and pan up into the right and we'll test out zoom on that cell tower. So we can go to a two times optical here on the 12 Pro. You'll see it snap in there, right there. Much clearer now, two times optical on the 12 Pro and let's go to a two times digital equivalent on the 11 Ultra. So there you go. And we'll move into a five times optical on the 11 Ultra five times telephoto lens gonna you'll see it clear up and snap into place right there perfectly snapped into place much clearer now on the 11 ultra with that optical zoom and we'll go to a five times digital equivalent on the 12 pro right about there so there you go digital versus optical right now between the 12 pro and 11 ultra and they both can move into a max let's see i think 15 times zoom so let's go to the 15 times digital here on the 12 pro and then let's go to a max 15 times here on the 11 ultra right there and so much clearer right now on the ultra than on the pro let's go ahead and back these out to the main one times here and let's get it back one times here on the 11 ultra and let's back this one out on the 12 pro as well so let's get it back to one times there we go and let's test autofocus here on the post with the 12 pro so really fast autofocus on the 12 pro although right there it's not wanting to cooperate it's usually pretty quick there we go away and one more time so typically pretty fast on 12 pro and let's try on the 11 ultra which is typically slower with that larger gn1 gn2 sensor there we go and away generally have to get the right focusing distance right there and away and one more time on the 11 ultra so there you go and let's go ahead and test stabilization by walking down the pathway here down the stairs through the pathway in 4k so you can see what that looks like side by side and then we'll just jog to try to stress out the stabilization and we'll pull up here and pan up into the sky so you can see how it does into that really harsh afternoon light So this will be a front-facing camera test on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and Mi 11 Ultra. As you can see, they are both recording from the front-facing cameras. And this is at their max resolutions and frame rates, which is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Unfortunately, no 4K recording even on the 11 Ultra here. And so it looks to be about the same field of view with the crop for electronic stabilization. And obviously, I'm starting out in some even light in the shade like I always do. So you can see what these front-facing cameras can do without any kind of harsh outdoor light on them right now. But let's go ahead and step out into that bright light that's coming down here from my right. And you can see what that does to the image quality as the, it tries to compensate with exposure there. And now with it directly in front of me, you can see what that looks like here. And we'll keep panning. So you can see what it looks like into that really difficult light directly into the sunlight there. Of course, it's going to blow out the background. And the Mi 11 Ultra seems like it's trying to compensate and expose properly. But it's a really tough lighting situation there. And let's go ahead and pan all the way this way. And 
We'll just walk to test these stabilization so you can see what that looks like here side by side on each of these front facing cameras. But let me know what you think about the quality here between the Xiaomi 12 Pro and Mi 11 Ultra front facing cameras. So here's some low light video from the rear facing cameras on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and Mi 11 Ultra. This is the ultra wide angle lens on each at 4K 30 frames per second to start. And as you can see, the Mi 11 Ultra has a wider field of view. You can fit more in the frame than the 12 Pro. And I'm just panning around so you can compare these two ultra wide angle cameras side by side here. So let's go ahead and move into the main lens now on the 12 Pro pinch to zoom. So as we get closer and we lock into the main lens, you'll start to see it clear up and lock in. So. 0.9 and then here we go 1.0 so you can see it there clear up main lens on the 12 pro now on the 11 ultra same thing and you can see it lock in right there and get brighter so much brighter than the ultra wide angle lens on each you see they both are flaring out that bright street light there pretty considerably and let's go ahead and pan over this way and start walking to test stabilization on these cameras as well as to walk over to a much more difficult lighting situation It'll get much darker around the corner here as you proceed further. Obviously, there's some pretty good light back there, so you saw how each of these cameras can perform in some fairly good lighting. And so, also pay attention to the micro jitters while walking here. That tends to be pronounced in low light. And it's already much darker here, but both these cameras are really brightening up the scene quite a bit. And so you're going to see a good amount of noise here on both these cameras as you point up into the night sky. And it's not pitch black, there is some light pollution, but you can see the noise that it's introducing by trying to brighten things up here. As you pan this way, it's a bit of a mixed lighting, so it's not as bright as the previous scene. A little bit darker down this alleyway, we've got some lights coming off the building here. So you can see what that looks like here on both these phones here. So there you go. Low light video test in 4K on both phones.
Alright, so this is going to be a low light test on the front facing cameras on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and Mi 11 Ultra. And so, as far as kind of color temperature here, I'm just going to give my quick thoughts. You can see that the Mi 11 Ultra is definitely warmer than what I'm seeing with my own eyes here. So, if you want to know what's a little bit more accurate, I think the 12 Pro is probably a little more accurate from a color temperature perspective. But I think I'll just talk about my experience using these two phones while we go through this final test. Maybe that's a little bit better information for you. And so, honestly, after using these two uh, phones here, uh, I'm actually a little bit disappointed in what Xiaomi's putting out here right now. The Mi 11 Ultra is a great phone, don't get me wrong. I think it's great for landscape photography. It's gonna be great for zoom photography because pretty much even up to its 20, 30 times digital zoom, the Mi 11 Ultra is fantastic. And its main camera is great if you're trying to capture, you know, basically landscapes or, you know, things from a certain distance. The Mi 11 Ultra's minimum focusing distance has never been very good since day one. So if you're into macro photography, like you shoot things close up, uh, and hoping to take advantage of that big sensor for natural bokeh on the Mi 11 Ultra, you can, it's just its minimum focusing distance isn't as good as other phones, to be honest. Even in pro mode, focusing can be tough, even when using the main camera to digitally zoom in and manually focus, it can still be tough. And as far as the Xiaomi 12 Pro, it's kind of brand new, so I'm hoping some software updates can help it out here because it's going to need it. I mean, out of the gate right now, it's just overexposing photos and videos like pretty much like crazy. And even in manual mode, I can tone down the exposure, but the detail in the photos and even the video after doing that, uh, capturing it, that detail is just not quite there compared to the 11 Ultra or even other phones on a consistent basis. So I think Xiaomi's got some work to do on the 12 Pro and tuning uh, its software for the camera hardware and probably with the new Snapdragon 8 uh, Gen 1 processor and maybe even Android 12 here that's on it. Uh, and then the 11 Ultra is still on. Uh, it doesn't have MIUI 13 yet. Uh, and so, you know, I don't think that's an excuse for it there. Um, I still think it's producing great photos. Video is much better on the 11 Ultra as well. But um, just, again, if you're trying to do more macro, more close-up photography, not the best. Uh, but it's a fantastic all-around camera system if you're trying to do more landscape and zoom photography. So overall, definitely the Mi 11 Ultra, it's been out longer. It's been software tuned a little bit more over time. And it's not, you know, had to deal with maybe some of the MIUI 13 issues as well. So uh, overall winner, like I said, Mi 11 Ultra for me. But again, just depends on what kind of photography or videography you're going to be doing with it. And again, um, Xiaomi Tool Pro definitely needs all of it to work. So I think that's going to do it for this camera comparison. Let me know your thoughts and which one you preferred and what your thoughts are in general about both the 12 Pro and 11 Ultra here. Any other questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll try to answer what I can. As always, thanks for watching.